let's see what we can do here. Refer to as silence. All right, now, guys, we have to go deal with a dragon. We just have to. Bull, I know that you won't complain. But just a warning to the other two. There she is on top of the thing over there. Okay. She sees us. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Where where is she landing? Where is she landing? Oh, that was not good. All right, just land so we can fight you. Come on. Really? Really? doesn't work. Oh, we're in a thing. We're in a ring. We're in a ring. Nope. 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 Okay, fine. I'm gonna need another potion. Another potion! Wait. Wait. Barrier. Barrier for the warriors. There we go. We can't get away. that one. You're immune to the lightning. Sorry. 
wounded now. Now I feel bad. But I have to do this. We did it, guys. We took care of the dragon here in Crestwood. No more dragon in Crestwood. There may be a flag up here that we need to place, so let's just go do that. Um, these look... Are these elven? These look elven. Oh, what's this? Don't be so stingy. Give up the last of your rams if you have to. I'll be gone hunting for a week, so remember, bring a, the dragon a hundred pounds each morning. That seems to keep the monster full enough she doesn't wonder what there is to eat inside our homes. Okay. Well, you guys don't have to do that anymore. We dealt with it. Ferelden Wyvern statues. Wyvern statues found throughout Ferelden were inspired by a legend that Andraste tamed one of the venomous beasts with her song. No, I say <clears throat> legend and not the chant. For this is wild superstition. We must sternly remind the faithful that any story the, Brit, the bride of the maker outside the chant of light is blinkered heresy, folklore, and nothing more. Well, but what if she did? I mean, what if she did? Nothing at all, Bull. No trouble having a bint behind you? Hope you like the view. You can't deny you enjoy butchering my people. Hey, butchering implies I'm gonna eat them. Most vints are just gristle and fat in a red wine marinade. Well, that much is true. <laughs> Guys, I see a rift. I know we just fought a dragon, but let's go take, take care of it. Let's just go deal with it. Close it, and we'll be done. Wrong one. All right, those are down. Next round. Oh, you think so? There, take a rock. All right, you're down. We still have the, we still have the the red guy here. Oh, 
All right, rifts are done. Oh, is this a quarry? Can we claim this one? I think we can. All right, we got a quarry. I believe that may be it, I think. Oh, I see a whole pack of wolves over here. Yeah, let's get rid of them. You still have one? All right, we got it. All done. Okay, let's go. Oh, is this it? I think this is it. Okay, that doesn't open. All right. All right, so now we can go back to Skyhold, guys. We are done with Crestwood. We have accomplished everything we came here to accomplish. Let's go back for some R&R. &R. Let's go check in with Cassandra. The spiderwebs help stop the bleeding, and they prevent wounds from getting infected. Gather as many as you can. The strangest thing, though, I can't recall where I heard that. I think I remember a young man. Okay. I can keep staring at this, but I won't get any closer. Okay. What are you doing? Something I can help you with? Yes. Possibly. We saw so many Red Templars at the assault on Haven. Perhaps all that was left of the Order. What we didn't see was Lord Seeker Lucius. Indeed, I've seen no hint of any Seekers amongst the Red Templars, or anywhere. I have a growing suspicion Corypheus has imprisoned them. Really? Why, 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 why think that? I mean, couldn't they be dead? Why imprisoned? He could just as easily have killed them. Not easily. But yes, they may be dead. But the Seekers began this war against the mages. They cannot have simply vanished. There must be a trail we can follow. Yet so far I have only discovered hints. But is it possible they could be infected? But they could have ended up just like the Red Templars. Seekers do not use lyrium. I assume Corypheus gained control of the Templars by corrupting the lyrium they were already taking. To do the same to a Seeker, you'd have to force the lyrium upon him. That may be what happened, but it couldn't have begun that way. We're missing a piece of the puzzle, Inquisitor. I need to find it. Do you think they'd be his allies? Wherever they are, they might be working with Corypheus willingly. I refuse to believe that without proof. I left the Order, but I can never abandon them. I cannot even claim that rescuing them would be beneficial. They wouldn't look kindly on the Inquisition. But even so, if there's a chance... If we can spare resources to follow up on these leads, Inquisitor, I would appreciate it. Ah, come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Ah, uh, your worship. Glad you came by. 
I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Uh. Okay. I thought you were just supposed to watch. I was under the impression that you were just sending reports. Yeah, so was I. The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. I don't trust them, though. That would be an unprecedented offer. If I believed it was legitimate, which I don't. Now, ordinarily, that would be the way to go. But they've identified themselves. They're not running a game on you. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. I don't know about this. What are they offering? What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. Yet yeah, you aren't completely convinced, are you? You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's, uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. You don't want them to spread. See, I am picking up some things that you may be Talvashoth, but you just don't want to admit it. I thought Kunari wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah, just didn't think I'd see it. Look. The Kuhn answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people, but it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I don't know if I trust them. I don't trust them. I don't trust the Canari at all. From all the things that my parents have told me and from what I've seen so far. I'll do it for you, Bull, because you're asking me. But know that I don't trust them. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Inquisitor. It's got a good ring to it. We're happy to be here, Your Worship. You need anything, let me know. Uh, tell me about yourself, Crumb. I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tevinter. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier. Women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met Bull near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. Why did you, how did you end up leaving though? You said you left to venture when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to turn to a sick magister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my pants, he made threats. It was slavery or death, so I knocked him out and ran. So I gather passing is illegal in Tevinter. It's against the law to pass as a man? It's a crime to lie on an imperial application for service. Would have been a heavy fine of slavery. For 10 silvers, the healer said he'd tell the tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit him. I'd served for a few years. I was good at hitting. Well, how did you get away? I'm surprised you escaped from the Tevinter Imperium so easily. It's not like I lived in Minrathas. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. Oh. 
Okay, well, thank you. I don't really have any other questions. Thank you. We'll talk later. I... This, this is just, it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as Wandering the Woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. What about the Wardens? The Grey Wardens are huge and important. You're part of that. True, but without a blight on the horizon, everything the Wardens do feels like waiting. This, the Inquisition, is what matters now. And I'm grateful to be a part of it. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. Hmm. Wise words. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I ever thanked him. Well, that was a generous act. That was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. Well, but yeah, but look where you are now. You're here now, a Grey Warden. It worked out. I suppose it did, didn't it? But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Well, thank you. Now, let me go check on Chestnut. Chestnut just got refitted for some stuff. Our mounts have never had better. Look at that, Chestnut. You you look good. I know we... It, that probably bothers you. Does it bother you? Probably take it off soon. It does... It, it looks like it might bother you a little. But I think it looks great, and I think that it will keep you definitely safe when we're out and about. Okay. Glad to see you're okay. What's this over here? Ah. Varric's book gets thing. everywhere. When I reached down, my dagger was gone. Just gone. Now where I found it? In a barrel. The thing was filled to the brim with daggers. Got the strangest feeling. I know someone took it right off my belt, but I can't recall who. Okay, I'm gonna have to have a talk, chat with Cole. Helen. Inquisitor, I found where the Red Templars come from. They're in full redoubt. The knights were fed red lyrium until they turned into monsters. Samson took over after their corruption was complete. How do you know Samson? He was a Templar in Kirkwall until he was expelled from the Order. I knew he was an addict, but this... Red lyrium is nothing like the lyrium given by the Chantry. Its power comes with a terrible madness. This is not good at all. So the Templars believe that this red lyrium was going to make things better and now they're monsters this is this is not good i believe you though the red templar swarming haven were proof enough we cannot allow them to gain strength the red templars still require lyrium if we find their source we can weaken them and their leader that's good thinking. I think that that's a good idea. Where do we begin, though? Where do we begin? Caravans of red lyrium are being smuggled along trade roads. Investigating them could lead to where it's being mined. If you confront them, be wary. Anything connected to Samson will be well guarded. 
Okay. Alright, let's see... Leave. We can check in with, uh, Solus. Sleep well? That... I mean... When I asked to talk to you, I didn't think we'd be doing it in the Fade. Still better than the dream where I'm standing naked in front of the war table. Since you went to the trouble of finding me in your sleep, it was worth the effort of doing something interesting. I had no idea that the Anchor would allow you to dream with such a focus. It is truly remarkable, but I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking. Okay, well tell me about your journeys. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found the ruin of Barandur, a lost Tevinter city buried deep beneath the dead and barren wasteland. Volcanic ash had sealed it tight. In one dark moment, every living creature in the city seared and smothered. They were statues in the ashes, like a mold made to recall the lost. Okay, well tell me more about spirits. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. I met a friendly spirit who observed the dreams of village girls as love first blossomed in their adolescence. With subtlety, she steered them all to village boys with gentle hearts, who would return their love with gentle kindness. The matchmaker, so I called her. That small village never knew its luck. That's actually really sweet, because girls, you know, if they fall in love with the wrong kind of people, um, that could be bad, so the spirit was looking out for them and for the boys, really. That's really sweet. I like that. Alright, tell me about these old memories. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a savage human horde go marching toward the battlefront. They sang a soldier's hymn to keep formation. The primal music shook the ground. These savage, unwashed warriors carried harmonies no chantry choirs mastered. Though their cause was all but hopeless, they sang songs that made the spirits weep. Okay, thank you for talking to me, Solus. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Uh, as noted partner of the Inquisition, Lady Montelio has endured, ensured our contacts are quick to reply. Okay. 